Well, that's much better. I've applied the black wash uh, to pick out all the panel details. Um, applied it neat and then and just dabbed it off randomly. It's what I always do in trying try to make it more natural and uh, random. So uh, as you can see, that's picked out all the details nicely like that. So nicely, in fact, I'm not gonna go back over it with uh, dry brushing. I was quite happy with it uh, being like this. So after I've done that, I put on the coat of matte varnish, which has dulled the metallics right down, which is exactly what I was after. So that's the state of play with her today. Um, next step, this is done now. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the appearance of the, the bulk of it. And this is a nice dull color now. Um, now I want to go in with metallics again, because there's some parts that I want to have a metallic sheen, like for example, uh, the docking arm point. I want that definitely to be metallic. By the way, that's the zinc primer still in there. So look at the difference, zinc primer with this zinc effect that I was after, so quite a difference. So yeah, I've got to do some uh, um, gun metal in here. Um, I'm going to pick out the little radar dishes as well in a gun metal. Um, these inlets here and here on the studio model were a dark grey, so got to pick them out in a dark grey. Um, and then the last thing, I've, two things I've got to do. You see here around the, the bridge section, uh, there's almost like a rusty effect on the probes and on the bridge section. So I've got to lay all that down in here and along here to try and match. And then oh, I've got the task of trying to pick out the bridge cockpit window, which is this little nub just there. Not looking forward to doing that, but uh, I will. So next time you see this, um, she'll be finished.